and this is a quick tutorial and I'm going to show you how I created the old look on Joseph Coney's face as you can see right here and I'm going to and it basically it's really simple to do and it doesn't take you long to do so the first step is you need a picture of Joseph Coney or the person you want to turn old and you need an old person with wrinkles and sag a lot of sag just a featured old person who has these old person features next step you wanna drag the picture of Joseph Coney on no 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 got that wrong there you wanna drag the old person onto Joseph Coney then you wanna shape it to Coney's face and on the old man you can just decrease the opacity so you know what you're working with underneath then just get it doesn't have to be perfect but just get it near enough that'll do once you've done that bring the opacity back up to 100% and then you want to go on the blend mode of the old person and click multiply then it was sort of blending already then what you want to do is you can create create mask on the old person down here and then with and then with a white brush or a white rubber just erase the old person's background you can do this after really but you know then after then you wanna erase the old person's eyes because as, as you see here you can still see his eyes so just erase his eyes and then you want to just decrease the opacity on the old person just a touch to around 85 to 90 percent make sure the background is sort of being taken care of then after you've done this you can just work more on the eyes and then to and then change to black to bring back the old man so you still have his skin colour and just work around the eyes as you see here and then after you've worked on it a bit on the eyes to make sure it's how you want it to be then you're then basically if you want the wrinkles or the old person's face to show more all you can just do is just duplicate the layer which is command and J as you see the face of it shows more but it's more more darker and it probably will be harder to see then after you've done this what basically you want to do is just where the wrinkles are you want to make them more visible and make them as if they're meant to be there so this is where your burn tool comes into place which is you click on this hand and click burn tool then with the burn tool you just wanna make sure you're an old man and just work on start you can start you can start on highlight it depending if your image you've got is really bright then start with highlights then work your way up but this image is fine for me to work on mid-tones then with this set exposure to around you can to around 8% and then just gently go gently brush on over the wrinkles of of his face and make sure you're on the old man's layer 
because this will get him. This will turn the wrinkles more, more darker, and which will have more depth and work around the eyes to bring the wrinkles out more, so they're more noticeable. Quickly, quickly do that. Then, basically, after you've done this, you can go on the Joseph Coney layer. Make sure you click off the lock thing, which is just Alt and double click. Make sure you're on the burn tool as well, and you can set the exposure less to around 65% and then work don't work in the wrinkles work outside like around <coughs> around the edges of them so it, it gives it more depth and also it looks more natural and then you can also work around the eye make the brush a bit bigger you can work around the eye to darken it just working shading make it look more realistic work around the ears obviously the ears ain't perfect but it's just a quick tutorial just, oh, that looks horrible but you can see what I'm getting at and you can see the end result is pretty effective. This is so simple to do, and it doesn't take you long at all. Or you can just ignore all this and use the app on the iPad or the iPhone or which iPod, which one you have. Yeah, so this is the final <coughs> image of the tutorial on how to turn Joseph Coney old. And basically, with this tutorial, it's just the quickest way that I've found out how to actually do it. But, but this also comes with a few disadvantages, which will be, as you see here, the random bits of wrinkles that really shouldn't be there. It should be on the side of the faces, of the eyes here and here, and not there. But you can easily erase this and make it and improve it. But also, there's many advantages. Like you can whip this up in about five minutes. It's very easy and also very simple to do. And but also, if you want a more effective way of turning someone old, it'd be more time time consuming. And obviously, you need to go more in depth with the wrinkles and and the effects of the wrinkles so basically this is just a quick tutorial and I hope you like it enjoy and bye